Hi, I'm Come Colonel on. Balsack. You took your goddamn time getting here. Another ten seconds, you would have been walking home. Money or no money. We will rush the hangar. Another suit. another I'll ten seconds? That, does that mean you're ten straight, seconds okay? away from fucking being you ready to do this? Goddamn Russians off long enough for us to get the EMP strapped down. Oh, oh, so you're not leaving without us. We came, we came just in time for to defend your ass, so fucking the dialogue doesn't make any sense. Hopes it up as on a walkie. Fucking this game. EMP grenades won't finish it off. The only way you're gonna neutralize it is by using the main power bus to control the What are you doing? Those guys coming. Oh. Come on. It's getting shot. <laughs> EMP to charge our em EMPs. Alright, we beat the game. Really? That's. The okay, okay, that's how you beat the game, Mike. Really? Yep. That's it? EMPs be just uh, used to portable. Fuck. Uh oh. Well, Fuck. we almost had it. <laughs> Soon, Mike. Soon. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> it, det it detected me. I'm in the middle of a fucking scripted thing and it detects me. I think we saw you, Mike. I left, I left a detonator down there. Fuck. No worries. Be happy. Get back here. Find a way to raise the ramp. All right, we're gonna raise the ramp. I'm here. Really, the hand cranks? Oh, luckily, luckily, there's some convenient cover here. That's a great angle game. <laughs> it, it, is it over? Go for Archer. Why aren't you answering your ops hat? I don't have it with me. What's wrong? Where's Agent Kestrel? On the cargo deck, sleeping. Why? Terminate him. What? I have to kill you, Kent? <laughs> Let's not. Let's Why? see what happens. Okay. Cut hey. me. <laughs> hey. Hey. I can't do it, I love <laughs> you! <laughs> Why do they expect us to shoot each other? Let's just fuck around. So, what? Okay. Well, let's go explore. Hmm. Ah! What? <laughs> <laughs> Take your gun. <laughs> no, I'm bleeding! <laughs> you got me right in the mouth. It is. <laughs> My drug. <laughs> rip in peace, Mike. <laughs> I'll rip and tear at your name. <laughs> so we both die, anyways. Well, they're gonna be returning in Splinter Cell Conviction 2.
I like how you stepped on me and killed me. <laughs> Fucking dick. <laughs> but it's on conviction to drop the soap edition. <laughs> So if you're wondering who made this perfectly <laughs> unbuggy game, Ubisoft. <laughs> oh shit. So Mike, your thoughts? Oh man, flawless. Nothing wrong with it. How about you? I give this game a pitiful eight out of ten. <laughs> uh Yeah, if you noticed towards the end, we weren't doing the hellos and goodbyes mostly because we I had to do so much editing because of fucking the servers kept crashing like every like three minutes or some shit. Like it was. It was horrible, like, you know, whenever you saw, like, I left it in whenever the the servers crashed and we had to restart. There was like a 20 minute, like, of us getting back there because there's no check, like, we get a checkpoint, but we don't go back to the checkpoint. You can't continue, not in co-op. And so we had to go all the way back there, and sometimes it would crash while we're going back, and I didn't show you that, and it fucking happened so much. And like, it was it was such a mission to get, to get this out. It's three years old, and fucking still sucks. Oh well. Uh, See, talking about this in relation to the original Splinter Cell. I mean, sure, in the co-op they've got the suits, but the single player is terrible. It's terrible! Yeah, I would never do the single player of this. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. It's atrocious. It really is. But that's why we do it. We, we, we play this so you don't have to. I, d the single player is so much worse. Don't... I, I will never touch it. Don't... Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> not... You're not seeing that, guys. It's always funny though doing Ubisoft games because it's you know we do them for the wrong reasons like the reasons they don't intend basically just just to fuck around and like just how shit their game is basically. Uh, you know I you know I saw a video for uh, uh, the new Rainbow Six game I think at last E3. You know that wall hacks vision they have here. They have it there. Yep. They Good. showed it off. You're taking cover Good. behind a car, and then like, it's on a bridge or some shit. And uh, yep, same deal. They just they basically just copying and paste. They're basically kind of merging Splinter Cell and and Rainbow Six. I can see. You know, they make this le less like a stealth game, more like a shooter. And then they then they make uh, Rainbow Six have stealth elements. They look they're gonna be the same game. Soon we're gonna just fucking have those 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 green and red goggles on, while playing Rainbow Six. You know, I missed Rainbow Six when it was like the earlier versions of the game, where it was literally you had a mission. And it was all like, oh, who do I take in the mission? What do I equip them with? <laughs> oh, I'll, oh, I know. I'll, um, I'll give them all SMGs, right? Because it's corridors and shit, like long corridors or something. I don't know. And you actually planned out waypoints on a map. Like, you actually made your own mission. Sure, you had objectives, but you decided how you got there. You made waypoints. You it was it so is. cool. You know what it is? It's 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 consoles. Consoles ruined Ubisoft. I'm not kidding. I I, I know. Like I, I don't usually. Well, I, I do bitch about this stuff, but it really is. Like they just dumbed it down so much. It's like, oh, we can't have it being co completely stealth. And, oh my god. You know, I, I actually I think I would have liked this better if it was actually a stealth game, but it really isn't. Let's be honest. Because I, I remember trying when I first mentioned this to you. Because like we got this a while back when uh, we got Vegas Two. Like, there was a pack, so like, oh, just buy the pack. Oh yeah. And this was in the pack, I was like, oh, this is co-op, and no co-op, really? But it's a stealth game, oh, no, I don't, no. Stealth isn't my thing. It really isn't, though. <laughs> it's not a stealth game, it's Call of Duty. Neither is with this. Stealth Call elements. of Duty is not my thing, either. <laughs> uh, the thing is, it's Call of Duty, but the, the stealth mission extended. But it's like, it's a he calls itself a stealth game, yet... Y you can't call it a stealth game. Like, oh yeah, have frag grenades. Have machine guns. In essence, like the, I think the most you would get in a real uh, Splinter Cell game, a real stealth game, would be a pistol and maybe an SMG. Uh, I, I won't lie though, it has piqued my interest on what the real Splinter Cell games are like. I, I, I'm i thinking about checking those out now when I get time, because I, I did buy them in like one giant pack. By the way, this, this game is about 20 bucks on Steam, don't buy it. Just don't. Don't, don't encourage this shit. By any means, I mean we're we're doing it here because we got it. Like as I think we said in Vegas too, uh, we'll we'll buy shit co-op games just to kind of fuck around and just because they're funny. They're funny when they're shitty, 
but it's near the end it got really fucking bad because it was just the like server disconnects uh random bullshit killing us and it was just like and we were rushing through it at the end because like i i just we didn't want to fucking play this anymore i'm not sure if you could tell how it started to go downhill but it really did <laughs> also just the fact that you can rush it like honestly a stealth game should be more it should be like oh well fucking, you know there's a stealth path to go that right. last mission was just like oh no you gotta kill everything I, like I'm sure you could do it stealthy but it's a waste of fucking time it really is it's just there's no point there's no point in it. we did it all the same the, the, the most challenging part of this game was was putting up with the fucking disconnects that, that's what made it realistic. <laughs> like, just as a fine example there, like, the first time we got to that end sequence, crashes. We spent a good 45 minutes, maybe? Half an hour? How, how, how much time was that? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, yeah, it crashed, and then we restarted the game, and then, and then we're like, we're like, how far are we? And I was thinking, like, oh, maybe we'll be near, like, the pilot or whatever. No, we're at the beginning of that, that Black Mesa thing where we're, we're, we're supposed to be pressing the two buttons. And like right at the beginning, and it was like fucking like 15 minutes back, and I'm like, oh my god, quality control. Let's see who, let's see the fucking failures. Okay, Jonathan Maru, I fucking hate you. Gene jo Dominic, fucking Jean hate Dominic you too. Odette. Francis Roy, fucking hate you too. Mark, Mark, Joy, uh, Mark, whatever. Mark. I fucking hate you all. Mark, guys, take a list. Take take this list down, and and don't hire these people. Uh, that feeling. Oh, just... <laughs> I was gonna say, what if your what if your name was that? Just Mike Lad. Yeah. Oh I, shit. I, I, yeah, I shouldn't be mean to the developers. I mean, it's it's probably not their fault. It's probably Ubisoft. Just like kind of like, oh fuck, we gotta get this out tomorrow. Fucking the the fourth quarter is fucking around the corner. Yeah. But I will say it's not. I will give some praise to it. It's not the worst game I've played. It's the worst game I've played. What, well, okay, what is the, what's worse than this? Come on. Uh... Uh... Diablo 3? No, no. <laughs> Diablo 3? <laughs> it's all subjective, because what is worse? Because, well, this is entirely different. Don't, don't, don't go 3. fucking objective. What's worse than this? What would you rather play? Uh, what would you rather not play than this? What would you go? Uh, oh, you, what, what would you go? League of Legends. League of Legends? That's a matter of taste, though. I don't, that, I that's like taste. Movies. That doesn't count. It's also not FPS. Maybe you just don't like MOBA. I don't like MOBAs either. No, no what what FPS? <laughs> yeah, the only thing I can think of that's worse is maybe Vegas Two. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'd play Vegas Two again any day. That's true. Blind firing <laughs> simple rifles. At least I had the bolt action sniper rifles. I have to say that. Oh man, you know, so, as I said, uh, it's it's always it's always whenever you start up an Ubisoft game, you're in for a treat, a real treat of shit. But you know what you're getting. Friend. Play it co-op and just break the game. Fun. And don't play it on realistic. I think that was pr actually part of the problem. We, we wanted to make it challenging, and we sort of did. I will confess, I was a bit worried that I wouldn't be able to terminate her. So <laughs> I was like saying, no, we should go normal. But then Mike convinced me, and yeah. Well, we tried it, and it's like, well, it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, you die by the controls all the same. Like, fucking, just, like, take a cover. Oh my god, the fucking sticky cover system. Oh, Jesus. It's the same problem in every fucking game with, like, a, a cover system. It's always, like, it's it never goes where you want it to. And also having everything mapped to spacebar. I don't know if I'm, I'm going to show this, but there was a moment where I was bringing up Canned and he died near someone else's corpse. So when I pressed spacebar, I swapped my SMG out for some fucking AK that he dropped. And then right after, I was bringing him up back up. Because it was like a high like pressure moment, so I dropped my my main weapon for some other piece of shit, and then it, I brought Can back up, and he took my ammo because he's using the same weapon, and I'm like, this is the reason why you fucking don't like. I have lots of keys on the keyboard. Pick another one. Is that a curiosity? <laughs> is it actually possible for him to rebind those keys? Yes, I, I it's Unreal check. Engine. It's Unreal Engine. Of I mean, course is it's, it, possible. it's it possible for you to rebind it? Oh no no no! They have they have it all in one key. No, it's basically they, they um, it's since it's Unreal Engine, they have to do very little porting work because they, they all you have to do is like just enable screen resolutions and that's it. Like you can tell, like um, I didn't actually show you guys this, but in, in the actual game, you cannot change your controls or video settings or anything. In the game, you can't do that, or at least the co-op game. I don't know if the single player. I didn't try in single player, 
But it's. I think you can in single player. In what fucking game can't you change the the, the screen resolution or the, the controls while you're playing it? It's no game. That like Unreal is capable of that. This is the Unreal Engine. It is fully capable of that. They just they didn't they were too lazy to put it. Well, they okay. I, I shouldn't say they're too lazy, but they didn't put the uh they didn't they didn't they decided it's not worth the porting effort. And this is sixty dollars when it came out. How can you justify ever buying an Ubisoft game that's sixty bucks if they don't fucking put any put, uh porting effort in? And all they're trying to do is push that that stupid Uplay shit down your throat all the time. It's atrocious, honestly. I'd rather you play than Origin. I won't lie. That's not that. saying much. The part where we're headed in the country to Miramar. What the hell is this? Well, yeah, uh, but that was later. Sam Fisher. All we did there was take out the third-ranking general in the Rude Hunter and prevent a cross-border incursion into Laos. At King Lap. Right, right, King Lap. The river crossing. Biggest damn catfish I've ever seen. Yeah, details. The important stuff is what happened in Pattaya. You have to tell the story every damn time. Every chance I get. Anyway, we're in this bar pretending to be tourists. When this guy comes up to us, worst job of reading people I've ever seen in my life, because he figured Sam for a sucker. Most people do. He lived. That makes him unique. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, this guy, he walks up to Sam, sizes in a mouth, and asks him if he wants to buy an elf. A full-grown elephant. Yeah, like that makes a difference. The guy mm -hmm. tries to sell Sam an elephant. And Sam here, he's got this look on his face like he doesn't know what to do. First time I've ever seen him like that. I was trying to figure out how to tell Sarah that she couldn't have an elephant. So Sam finally turns to him and says, Sorry, I already got one. Cool as ice, just like that. And the guy, <laughs> he believes him. It was either that or break his arm. I like to think I made the right decision. What was the point in that? I, I think that's the prelude to the start of the single player? I, I don't know. Why did we have to kill each other like at the end of the co-op? What, what a shitty ending. We, 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 we just all die? The twist ending. Like, I'm not, I, this is why I don't pay attention to stories, because it's just going to be like a fucking letdown, because it just makes no sense to me. It's like, oh, we've been, we've been work to get, working together as friends, and then, and then you fucking just curb stomped me, and then, and <laughs> then it was done. Then you died too. Actually, honestly, I was going for the classic, you know, uh, drop down from the thing, and then I fall on top of you, and we just kind of go, <laughs> oh, <that> hurt. <laughs> you just like, drunkenly get up, let's never speak of this again. <laughs> And then it's like, oh yeah, there's a death from above mechanic that it's bound to the same button. Uh, so stupid. Yeah. Well then, if you really insist on getting this, get it when it's like five bucks at a Steam sale, and also and, and get it with a friend. And and just to warn you, you will be forced to use UPlay with this thing. Hope, uh, hopefully, t I think Steam forces people, uh, like forces people not to have third party programs. Because I remember EA was trying to do it, and then, uh, what's it called? It was trying to do it. Um, and then Ubisoft was trying to do it. Because they, they're all trying to make their own, like, fucking platforms for this for this garbage. So, um, it's I hate them. I really do. There's no point. It's it's all greed. It, that's what it is. They, they, you know, I don't mind a Steam competitor if it's like, you know, they're going like, okay, we Steam does some things wrong, we can do it better. Now, this is literally quite like, well, we're giving 10 or 15% of our profits to Steam, but we don't have to. Let's go make our own fucking platform. That's what it is with EA. That's what it is. That's that's why I don't use them, as I said. Like, um, something like good old games, they have, they, have, uh, they have DRM free games, which is like different from Steam. That is legitimately different. I don't need another fucking DRM solution like like Uplay or Origin on my computer. I really don't. You know, Steam was first. I tolerate Steam. Steam is popular. I tolerate Steam for the same reason. Like I, I still don't approve of Steam, uh, but you know, there's a lot of other better things it does provide other than that. And it's honestly, the, it's probably one of the better DRM solutions I've ever seen. It's not like this I, I, fucking piece of shit where it's like desyncing every five seconds. I'd like to say that I think that Steam is more a force for good than, you know, fucking you play or Origin. Yeah, they come up with good ideas like like Steam cells and stuff like that. You think, you think EA would ever do that? Of course not. 
or like or like that, that's why as i said that's why i don't even bother with either like right after this fucking just uninstalling it never touching it again <laughs> it's horrible as it is uh, oh don't forget games for windows live that's but, uh but you know what? The, the one thing, the one thing that would like, I would tolerate your platform for is if you made like, like decent games. And, and I, and that's why I was going to go, like, that's why I bought like Battlefield 3 to go do, um, uh, to, with Origin. I, I, and I tolerated Origin at the time because I thought Battlefield 3 was going to be a great PC game. Oh, what do you know? It wasn't. Like, they'd fucking just cashing in all the time. I, like, I, I just can't take, that kind of like obvious greed, you know, it's just, it's just like, they don't even try and hide it. Like some companies that obviously they're trying to like screw you, but they like, you know, they, they, they at least like put a condom on and like to try and like <laughs> conceal it or some shit. Oh, that's, not, that's not my dick coming, going in your ass. It's just a, uh, it's a banana. It's a banana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nutrients. You know, this one is just, it's just fucking just so obvious and I hate it. I just hate it for that. Ah, uh, well, how many people were involved in this fucking masterpiece, honestly? Special effects? You need people for special effects? What was in this that had special effects? Modelers! Who were those modelers? <laughs> I can't feel my legs! <laughs> you play in-game. Oh, look. Look at these people. Rather than <sighs> having these people doing all the stuff that you play, why not just, you know... One person. Steam integration. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good job! This is way too many people for you play. Four programmers needed. Four programmers. Indie games are made with less programmers. But I can tell you right now, like to all these people, it's like it's basically just a paycheck. They just like some upper management people goes, okay, we're making a competitor Steam. Think of some good ideas and do it. And then like, I bet you this is not really their real names because they don't want to be like associated with this. It's like Clement Lester or whatever. Uh, that's not his real name. There's no way. Thanks to the UT play uh, team wishes to thank for the constant support. <laughs> Additional design. Fairy Adam. There were hundreds of people involved in this. Like seriously. Yarn. Yarn. No, nobody kind of said, I think this is kind of shitty, guys. <laughs> uh, Phil... I think like they, they were advertising it when they were advertising Conviction. Like it was all about the single play story, Conviction. Uh, you know, Sam Fish has gone rogue. Do you, do you know what? You know, what I really don't get it's the fact that uh, developers like this they reuse game engines and mechanics from from game to game. So like Splinter Cell uses Rainbow Six stuff. Rainbow Six stuff uses Splinter Cell stuff. They just they do very minor variations in the games and stuff like that. Now here's what I don't understand: How are they not getting it right? Why are we seeing the same fucking problems in like every single one? Like, like you know, someone should have fixed it down the line somewhere, and then it kind of just made it into this game. You know, like maybe just like this one, we don't see like. Well, I guess, I guess, I guess they fixed the skybox issues. You can't put C four <laughs> on that anymore. Although we didn't even see a skybox actually once, I think. But like, I, I, I don't. <laughs> it was very corridor shootery. Oh uh, yeah. Yep. Any other, any other co-op games coming from Ubisoft that we're we actually uh, absolutely they're doing more co-op stuff you know that right like like more oh, good. more shitty co-op games it's so the gift that keeps on giving like Dead Space Three is gonna have co-op and I can already tell you that's gonna be a piece of shit that that hasn't even come out and you can already that's... tell a horror I... game with co-op a horror game <laughs> I think I think there's like already some bad press for the PC port of Dead Space Three. Yeah, they're not. They're, they're, they're. Oh yeah, yeah. There was. They were basically like. Um, they're like, we don't want people to feel in unequal, so we're doing the same version for each uh, platform. That bullshit. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's. Oh, remember this hardware from eight years ago? Yeah. Um, you're gonna play on that quality. Yeah. I don't care if you've got like the best graphic card. Fuck you. Yeah, that's that. They're they're great at PR. Right, let me tell you that because like no, that's the whole fucking point of having. Uh, a computer PC or like any like anything that's more advanced that you have some you, you you take advantage of that hardware but the, you know it's it's not even that they're not making it on purpose for it like they're 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 developing for the lowest common de denominator they're purposely leaving it out <laughs> you know I, I I can't wait until like there's like a kind of like a gaming crash because it's already happening like they're 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 they have to do all this DLC and and shit 
and they're losing so much money already as it is, it's already happening. And then like next gen is going to be like connecting whatever fucking crap. Like they're they, they're out of ideas at this point. Oh, uh, don't forget like Dead Space Free, uh, microtransactions. Oh Jesus, and the connect support. Uh. <laughs> uh, Aim, turn. I don't think uh, I don't think we're ever going to p- touch that train wreck. Uh, maybe if it ever comes off Origin. I mean, I like Dead Space, but Dead Space Free, like I don't like the notion that the microtransactions. I did like it, but it was never a scary game, so. What's the thing? Like, it's meant to be scary. It's touted as a horror franchise, right? If it goes on Steam for cheap, then yeah, sure, we'll do co-op. Like, survival horror, but... Like, I believe Total Biscuit made this, uh, made this comment that... Why would you give the abil- people the ability to microtransaction their way out of Dead Space Free? Survival horror game where you can buy, like... Oh yeah, just like, I'll just buy a better gun. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a free-to-play model being applied to retail. It's a terrible idea. I guess think it's been called fee to win. And you know that's the same thing. It's the same thing with unlock systems. You know, unlock systems make sense in fucking uh, free to play games, and they and they're good there because it's like you know, like it makes sense. Like okay, they need to make their money. Either I grind it or I buy it, kind of a thing. But fucking in this shit, get rid of the fucking get rid of the fucking unlock systems. That's the one thing I want to see dis- disappear. Oh well. So finishing thoughts. Uh, finishing thoughts. Uh, would I play this again? No. What? Like I'll be honest, when I played the single player, I got to a certain point. I, I just, I just put the game down. I was like, N- no. How far did you make it? Uh, let me just check. Scene select. I made it to white box laboratories, and then I just said, I'm white bored. box laboratories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we gave up at the same time. Yep. It's horrible. It really is. Oh well. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, My last words will be, fuck this game.